If you watched any of the draft coverage last night on the NFL Network or ESPN, I'm sure that you noticed all of the beautiful shots of our grand city. Man, did Cleveland look spectacular in the big spotlight. But how are we doing as the host city of the NFL's second biggest road show? I decided to go out today and find out. Where are you from? Denver. We came all the way? Came all the way. Bro! We got we to talk, bro. We got to yeah. talk. Big Steelers fan, huh? Sure am. You came all the way from Texas? Wow. We're asking folks that have come from out of town, how are we doing with the draft? Well, I'm glad it stopped raining. Yeah. That's been wonderful. And everybody has been incredibly friendly. Cleveland and Pittsburgh have, you know, their rival. Look at Steelers fan. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Well, I actually had someone that works inside of the stadium come up to me and say, oh, a Steelers fan? Oh, I forgot it's the draft. You're okay today. <laughs> Everybody has been friendly. Has Cleveland, in your view, been an extra point, a safety, a field goal, or a touchdown? What's a... Um, we'll go safety. What? What? Safety? Dude, I would almost rather have a safety than a, than a touchdown. Safeties are so much more fun to watch. Yeah, but safety's two, touchdown seven. Give us the two-point conversion, eight. I think a touchdown. There you go. I really do. All I, right, that's I, what I'm talking about. Everything is clean and wonderful, so it beat everything. You, know, you just don't know when you go to another city, and, and everybody's been so friendly. There's a ton of, of course, Cleveland Browns fans around. You can't control the weather, but I that's where you, you get a safety, you know? <laughs> okay, well, look, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue with you. It's your judgment. If you're gonna give us a safety, that's no, fine. I but if the draft is ever in Denver, I'm coming and I'm giving it a safety. All right, give us a safety. Well, no, you say that now until you experience it. You oh, I've been there. I've been there. <laughs> Wait, how am I gonna be? Did you, did you get that? Can we get a touchdown? Yes. Can we go for two? Yes. Wait, we get eight points. Wait, that's the highest score so far. <laughs> he came all the way from Kansas City, and it was funny. He was with his son, who's a high school senior. They were sitting around just Tuesday night, Bets, mm -hmm. and they were talking about, yeah, the draft is coming up. We've never done that. They booked a flight. They came in. They've been here for over 24 hours, and they said so far they are absolutely impressed with Cleveland and everything it has to offer. I think that's so great. You know, there's a lot of people who hopefully will go, wow, there's a lot to offer, and I can't help but think uh, that – you know, Cedar Point is sitting over there in Sandusky going, hee, 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 because all these people now experience Cleveland, and, of course, Cedar Point becomes a major attraction for summer folks. So you get not only everything going on in downtown and the cultural district on the east side, the Football Hall of Fame down in Canton, but you also get Cedar Point, too. So hopefully we'll get those folks coming back. A lot to do. Bring lot your do. money with you. We'll take your money. And how yeah, good, no Bets, problem. did those shots look last night on national TV? It was stunning. I told them on the call this morning, I'm like, it sparkled. Like, it looks oh. so good. The tower looked amazing, certainly. Yeah, and, they, yeah. you know, it was a little damp. We get it. That was true. But sure. today, it was a wind issue, really, for the most part.